Hi Taurus, welcome to your Love Connection reading for November. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for all the information you need, personal readings, social media, ducks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please go check that out. Thank you for all your support. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those that reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated so thank you thank you for supporting the channel helping the channel's growth being a part of that and letting me do this for you i truly love to do this so thank you thank you thank you so much okay so this is for taurus november november love connection reading taurus Let's see what comes out here and i hope you're all doing well happy fall so this can be any type of connection that you have in mind, whoever you're thinking about at this time. It has to be a legitimate connection. So it could be someone you're connecting with. Maybe you like each other and you get those vibes going back and forth. You're dating. Uh, you could be married. You could be separated. Um, it could be about an ex. It could be anything here. So um, we'll see what we get. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a planet sign element. We'll see what comes out. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. So if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. So what could some Taurus be dealing with for the month of November? And this love connection reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. Can we have one card for Taurus spirit, please? One card. That's two. I just want one card for Taurus, please. Okay, we'll take the top one. Jupiter. All right. And... Jupiter, I believe, is Sagittarius. Yeah, Jupiter is Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. And if you're not, that's totally fine. But Jupiter is about uh, luck, expansion, faith, optimism, spirituality, joy, prosperity. So, you know, it's all about uh, that positive energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right. So the first thing I want to do here... Um, is get a love connection energy between you and your person for the month of November or beyond whenever this resonates for you. I do consider all my readings timeless. So let's see, what is the connective love energy like between Taurus and the person that they are thinking about? Oh, well, we have the soulmate card here. This is a soulmate card to me of two people coming together. These two swans, swans mate for life. Sorry about the glare. And we have 24 there, which is six. And six is all to me is all about that healing, balancing energy, going uh, into a more uh, healing, positive place. And then you have the, I believe that's the Knight of Cups there. So that's actually coming forward with offers of love, affection. I see soulmate union here for you, uh, Taurus. All right, so two people coming together, unity, partnerships, love, mutual love. I'm getting mutual love. Okay, Taurus. So what I'm going to do next is, this is a love connection reading, so I'm going to get two sides. I'm going to call this side you and this side your person. You can flip-flop, switch the sides, the energies, however you see fit. If you feel like that's you, that's your person, then feel free to switch and flip-flop. So what I want to do is get one card for you, how you were feeling about your person and the connection, and then one card for your person and how they're feeling about the connection. We're going to clarify everything here with the tarot. And then at the end, we'll get some extra messages from the Whispers of Healing. All right, so how is Taurus feeling about their person and about this connection for November Spirit, please? Can we have one card for Taurus and one card for their person, please. Thank you so much. Okay. One card for Taurus and one card for their person. Okay. So we have, I think it's about options or choosing uh, which doorway you want to go through. Making a choice here. Taurus. So 22 is four is all about stability and the basis and foundation. But then we have the Queen of Diamonds, which is the Queen of Pentacles, and that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
you know, I think you're you're trying to decide here what what path you want to go down that will best suit you, that will keep you in a very stable energy with the Queen of Pentacles there. That is uh, best suited for your stability, for your foundation. Do I go solo or do I move together with this person? Because you see, like, that almost looks like the same energy here of coming together. See how it's almost like the same energy. So I think you're trying to, to decide what to do here. If you want to choose this path or do you want to go single or do you just want to date? Um, or do you want to go into partnership with this person? Let's take one for you. Wow. So, <laughs> so we have the stars here for your person. So they're hoping and wishing and dreaming that you're going to choose them. This is wishes, dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, something divinely guided. They feel feel divinely guided to you. You feel they feel like you've been divinely guided towards them. So they have they're keeping that faith, hope, and optimism that you will choose them. Because this is a divine connection here with the stars. Is something meant to be? Healing energy also, and you have the six of cups down at the bottom here. So this is soulmate energy again with the six of cups you could have had past lives with this person um and then we have seven up here which is about patience and waiting sort of energy um it's also a very spiritual divine number so i feel like yeah i feel like you're trying to decide what to do on this person and they're hoping and wishing having faith that you're going to choose to go come into union with them because we do have six here in the heart and then we have six hearts here six of cups soulmate past light energy could be somebody you've known since childhood or just for a very long time um school someone from school or something like that or you worked with like on your first job or something like that also This to me is like Aquarian energy with the stars, but it doesn't have to be. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the storks here, which is 17, which is eight, which is about movement, travel, action. The queen of hearts down here, which is someone, uh, that's water energy. So um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be. And this also with the swans and the water also reminds me of water energy, especially with the jack of hearts there. So if they're not a um, Sagittarius, it could be a water sign or an Aquarius. I mean, it could be anybody. Um, but, you know, that Jupiter energy is all about um, luck, expansion, faith. And there's the faith, hope, and optimism with the star energy. Um, so, yeah, I really do think spirituality also, joy prosperity so they're hoping and wishing for all of that with you i think this is what this jupiter is here so yeah the stork here uh i just want to read a little bit about that so that is number 17 let's see stork with movements upgrades and improvements i bring spring in the change of seasons sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. So, um, so I feel like, I mean, this could be going to the next level. I take it also the stock also brings news in. So you're with, so yeah, I think your person is waiting for you to deliver this news to you. Um, I think, I don't know if Starks mate for life either i don't know about that but um yeah because you see the two swans here the two so we got two two so two couples here so yeah i really do think your person is waiting for you are you waiting for them to make a decision about you i mean vice versa however it works for you okay so let's clarify with tarot this is the sexual magic tarot so if you're offended by sexual images, then you may not want to watch from this point. There is female nudity and sexual positions. So uh, just female nudity from the waist up. So I think a lot are familiar with this um, deck. If not, then... Okay, so... And probably 18 and over. 
let's see let's see i don't use this deck often but i use it sometimes so let's clarify for you taurus why you have and i just want to see what that says 22 um what is that called here choice yeah decisions and choices are what i offer alternate directions are what i are uh what i aguar i speak in multiple in double and when I'm in a relationship I might be trouble hmm I'm not getting that though I'm not getting that I'm getting that as having to choose um, what direction you want to go in or you're waiting for your person to decide um, you know either way somebody's waiting for somebody to make a choice or a decision while the other ones are having faith hope and optimism on the soulmate union all right so let's see temperance so we have Sagittarius energy here which clarifies there so some could be dealing with the Sagittarius so this is faith hope um, balancing tempering energy healing energy divine intervention energy also with the temperance energy there it's all about patience also so I think you're hoping that your person just has patience with you as you decide what um, you want to do here Time, patience, healing, balancing energy, divine energy. Well, okay. That's too many. So let's get one be a person with the stars. The magician, yeah. So they want to manifest this brand new beginning with you. They're hoping, they're waiting, they're they're waiting for you also, but they're also trying to manifest. They want this brand new beginning to manifest with you. So the magician there is Gemini Virgo, but doesn't have to be. So yeah, they one is a new beginning. They have truth, clarity, passion, love, stability. They have it all, and they want to manifest and give you all that also. But they also need know that you need time, and they have to be patient, and you're hoping that they see that. And I think they do, and they're just kind of, like they have all the tools ready, and they're just waiting, okay, when they come forward and tell me what they want Phew, it's gonna like skyrocket you got two major arcana there right off the bat temperance and the magician which is nice energy all right so taurus let's clarify temperance for you and we'll clarify the magician for them so for you we have the knight of cups so water energy again. So this is coming forward and taking that action movement. And we have the Knight of Cups over here on this card. So clarifying that, coming forward with offers of love, affection. So somebody, so you will, I think, come forward to this person. I think you will choose them. But I don't know why you're waiting or trying to make this decision. Uh, but... They have the Eight of Wands energy here. So this is fire energy, Leo Sagiris. So this is travel, communication, passionate, fast action, communication, traveling. Just, they want to travel to see you. They want to communicate to you. They want this to take off quickly. This is fast, rapid action, passionate action with the Eight of Wands. I have a lot of passion for you also. And they're just waiting to for this to take off once you choose and then able to manifest this new beginning together, it's just going to skyrocket and eight of wands. It's sort of like the chariot, minor chariot to me in a way. So yeah, wow. Okay, so let's get the actual situation for you, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's get the actual situation for you, Taurus. Wow. So we have, wow, now we have the Empress, which is Libra Taurus. That's your energy. So that's on your side. So that's knowing your value, your worth, embodying all the queens of the deck. Um, embodying all the queens of the deck, mother of the deck. Um, knowing your value, your worth. It's the birth of new things. It's expansion, growth, love, compassion, stability, truth, and clarity. It's everything. Mother and it can be a mother energy also, wife energy doesn't have to be. All right, so six of cups can also represent children. So I don't know if you have children um, with this person. 
So let's get a few more for the actual situation. Are you kidding me? The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands? Holy crap. Oh my God, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands just came out. I just picked them out and you saw me shuffle for the actual situation. So they have the Ace of Wands connecting to them on their side, which is that passion. So they do want this new beginning with you. They want this excitement, this passion, this new endeavor moving forward. Very excited about it. Like they can't wait for it. I think they are being patient and waiting, but it's like they can't wait either. <laughs> And then connecting the two of you is the Ace of Cups. There is a lot of love here between the two of you. And you both wanting this new beginning in love. Eventually, I say eventually because I think you're in an energy right now of trying to decide what to do for some reason. I don't know why. Um, looking at choices. I don't know if you have a choice. If you have choices of more than one person. Or, um, I don't know. So... All right, so let's get more clarifiers here for you, Taurus, for this actual situation. Six of Cups again, wow, and the Five of Wands. So Six of Cups again, soulmate, past life energy here. Yep, I think, you know, you're trying to figure this out, and I think Divine is helping you. And you're just kind of being patient with yourself and with them as you figure all this out. Maybe it's sort of like a new spiritual connection for you and you're kind of confused, maybe. I don't know. But I think you're going to figure it out and realize, wow, this is my person. Uh, this is my soulmate. I feel so connected to them. Like maybe I've had past lives with them. And then coming forward and telling them, yes, I choose you. Telling them how you truly feel and making that gesture forward. But right now they have the five and one. So this is um, conflict competition um could be inner conflict so i think they're just very uh conflicted right now inner conflict is what i'm getting because they're waiting for you and they're waiting for you to choose them and they're not really sure what now it's right now what's going to happen so they have i think a lot of inner conflict or maybe they see like you get a lot of attention and maybe they get worried oh no what if you know they choose somebody else. So what if somebody else catches their eye and then I have competition? So I think they're in that energy of feeling very, very passionate because we have all a lot of wands on their side. So very, which is that Leo Sagittarius. So I feel like there could be a water sign or a fire sign. So they have a lot of passion and they're worried that they may lose you or you may uh, catch the eye of somebody else. All right, so let's get your advice in this situation, Taurus. What's Taurus's advice in this love connection? So we have the ace, another ace, ace of swords, Taurus. Wow, in the devil energy. So Capricorn with the devil, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the swords. I mean, we have all the signs here, so it can be anybody. But your advice is to just think clearly with the ace of swords. That's like a big epiphany a big realization um big open honest truthful new beginning based on communication truth clarity cutting away energy is no longer serving you the connection standing up for yourself not taking any bs and then we have toxic energy here with the devil or this just could be the very and it's kind of on their side so i think they feel so passionate connected to you it's like consuming them with the devil energy so uh, for some reason, you're wanting truth and clarity. Maybe, you, you know, you don't know if they just want to be with you for sex or if they really want a true loving relationship from you. So I think you need to have this big open communication with them to find out, hey, do you really love me? Or is it just about passion and sex, you know, and get clarity. Ace of Swords is all about a big breakthrough and clarity on this connection. Because I do see a lot of wands on their side. But they have the stars there, so I do feel like they do they do love you, too. The Ace of Cups is right in the middle of your spread. That's the love between two of you, which is divinely guided. All these aces are divinely guided. Plus, you have the Magician, which is one, which is another new beginning. So you have four ones, which are new beginnings. And four uh, is, again, about stability and basis foundation, which you have four right there. So... You want to know if this will be a very stable um, 
connection built on a firm foundation and that there's actual love there and not just passion, desire, lust, or whatever. So maybe that's why you're trying to decide on uh, this person because maybe they haven't been um, upfront with their emotions and how they truly feel because I only see wands on their side. But that, like I said, that Ace of Cups is right in the middle with, what is that, like, looks like a cherry on top. <laughs> All right, so let's get more clarifiers for your advice. I see needing to find out um, truth and clarity on the situation. Is it just passion, desire, lust, or is there love there too? And this can this be something we can uh, build on for the long term? I don't have I don't have any pentacles here. I have wands, cups, mostly wands and cups, but we have the two of pentacles now, so. Yeah, you're feeling imbalanced. The two of pentacles here. So like trying to balance things out, uh, trying to get, you know, get over that imbalanced feeling. So you're kind of feeling a little bit of imbalance in this connection. I think you feel all the passion, desire, and lust, but you don't feel the love yet from them on their side. Uh, but I do see they love you too, but they have a lot of sexual energy and passion also. So let's see what else uh, for you. The Nine of Wands. So this is for your advice. So this is the fire energy. So this is, you know, a long, hard fight, battle, the wounded warrior. But, you know, you want to keep fighting on. It's like you, you, you want to fight on in this relationship. You want to continue on in this relationship, fighting for it, not giving up. And the Wands, again, on their side. Holy crap, they got... So many, so much wands on their side. Wow. So I don't think they want to give up either in this connection, even though they do feel a lot of passion, desire, lust, whatever, sexual energy towards you. Um, that love is right in the middle. So uh, I do feel like this love here too. But you need to balance things out. Things need to be balanced out. Things are sort of imbalanced right now by asking them, getting truth and clarity on all this lust and passion energy is there love here too or is it just the passion and the lust all right so let's get in outcome outcome for you possible outcome for you taurus in this connection what is the possible outcome for you taurus the king of swords so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords energy. So could be your energy, their energy, but this is someone who um, stands in their true clarity. You know, swords are all about the mind, truth, clarity, honest communication, cutting away things not serving, um, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is. So I think you're just going to confront this person and tell it like it is, say, hey, you know, I want this too, but is there love here or is it just you know, the chemistry and the passion. Because if there's love here too, and we can balance things out and move forward with love, passion, truth, clarity, all of it, stability, then I will choose you. But if it's just sex or whatever here, then, I don't know, you may cut them out with the King of Swords energy there and be kind of cold to them. <laughs> the King of Swords can be kind of cold energy. So let's get a couple um, clarifiers here. So now we have the Knave of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles. So this is communication. Um, that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's a very stable energy, message, offer. So I think you will, you know, be open, honest, and truthful and just tell it like it is with them, but also offer them what you want, what kind of stability you want, what kind of offer you want in this relationship. So let's see what else here. So we have the five of pentacles. So this is feeling uh, cold, neglected, uh, left out in the cold, abandoned kind of energy. It's on their side. So yeah, they're, they're feeling, you know, you might have taken a step back from them while you figure all this out. And they're feeling that energy. They're feeling that uh, feeling left out in the cold, neglected energy from you. You know, you may, may have withdrew, you know, the sex and everything until you figured this out. But I see the outcome here as you confronting them, 
saying this is what I want, you know, making that offer. Is this what you want? Because they are feeling um, left out by you. They definitely do. They feel you're lost. They feel... They feel the energy that you took away from them. And I think they're feeling a little sad, lost and lonely about that too. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The lovers. So there you go. So coming together here. You do see three people here, but um, you know, the lovers is about making choices, decisions. Also, um, I'm not getting any third party energy here whatsoever. So I just see it as, um, you know, making a choice decision to come together. This is soulmate, soulmate energy here with the lovers coming into union, soulmate energy, death. So this is the ending of something here, ending, I feel, of this toxic energy. I think definitely here you withdrew your energy from them because you see this right here for passion, lust, desire. You know, and you felt like that's all there was and you weren't feeling the love from them. So you kind of like ended, you ended that um, sexual energy until, you know, you could figure this out. And Three of Pentacles here is working together, teamwork, collaboration. So I feel like here, um, you no know, working together, coming together, working things out. Ten of Pentacles and there you go. This is like the marriage commitment the whole nine yards, 10 yards, actually, um, stability, um, growth, expansion, sharing everything, legacy of a couple from grandchildren to grandparents, home, family, everything with the 10 of pentacles, growth, abundance, prosperity, king of wands. So there's that fire energy again. So I still think, you know, there's a lot of passion. This person may just be a very, very sexual person. Um, a lot of passion here. Yeah, so this is, I think, you know, maybe they struggle in how to, in how to tell you how much they actually love you, too. Because this is the page of uh, cups, so, and this man is struggling on how to say how he truly feels. So, and I think he's worried that you may find somebody else, he, she, whatever. They feel like you may find somebody else if they don't come forward and truly tell you how they feel. They have, see, again, with the candle and the passion and the fire and love, I feel in the world. So they want to close out cycles not working and start a new cycle, a new world with you here with this energy. But they struggle, I think, with their feelings and how to communicate that and tell you. But there definitely is, and they do want to hold you, protect you, love you, but and, and have passion for you too. But they struggle, I think. But I do see commitment here, marriage, uh, long term, stability together, working it out, working together. Ending all the toxic energy that wasn't working and coming together in soulmate union with the lovers here. So it looks like there will be a soulmate union. I do see it there. I think things just need to be worked out between the two of you. Communication um, and just working things out. All right. So let's get some extra, extra, extra messages for you, Taurus for November. What do we have for Taurus? This one wanted to flip. Anything else for Taurus? Let's take this one. And I want that one is poking out to me. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have hidden blessings, exactly. Wow, eight again with um, 26 is eight. You can see that is that's that action and communication and travel so there is hidden blessings in this connection once everything is worked out transformed so again this is the death card and eight again wow eight eight is a big number here that means anything to anybody transform so this i feel connection will um transform over time once things are worked out communication Barriers. So yeah, I think this person has mental barriers. I, I think they have trouble um, 13, 4, stability, structure, basis. So I really do feel like they have a really hard time and they struggle with communicating how they feel, their love and their emotions, and sh you know, either showing it or just verbalizing it. 
it's like a barrier to them. They just don't know how to do it. I don't know why. Um, it's a barrier to them. But they I think they will slay that dragon. You see this person riding the dragon. So I think they will slay that dragon and transform. And this is, connection, I think, is a hidden blessing in disguise. Let's see what's on the bottom now. Negativity. So 7, 8 again. 17, 8. So 8, really big, big number here. Negativity. So I don't know, whatever negativity or negative energy is between you, it may be a barrier. Um, I don't know if they have negative energy or you're in a negative space now because the energy this connection is in right now. But I do feel barriers will be broken down. Del uh, dragons will be slayed. Things will transform. And all the hidden blessings will come out into the open. And then the soulmate union would happen. will happen. It's just going to need time, patience, um, and working on this and communicating. Okay, uh, Taurus, if you did like this reading, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. They're all different. You will get a uh, love connection reading. You will get a single reading who's coming towards you, who, when, where, how. Uh, that sort of uh, reading. It's a fun reading. Um, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know right now. And I also do a general tarot forecast, just like a general reading also. So if you're interested in all that, please do um, subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll be notified. And if you do, thank you in advance. So good luck to you here, Taurus. Send you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channels, to always, always shine your light.